Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this makeup look that I'm wearing right now. I think this is a really pretty, uh, sparkly look for like Valentine's Day. I think it'd work really well for uh, like a Valentine's Day party or like a fancy date or something, or it's just a really fun look to do anytime. It's really pink, really girly, sparkly, so much fun. This is a look that I put up on my Instagram the other day last week sometime I think there um and I really really loved this look and it was I didn't film it then when I did it though so I'm filming it now also uh the lighting I don't want to talk too much because it just gets boring but I know my lighting is not that great right now I'm almost done with my room and stuff and I'm gonna get a little bit of a better setup with like lighting wise but I'm almost done with uh, redecorating my room and whenever I get done with it I'm going to film a like tour you know to show you how my new room looks so make sure you subscribe for that because it'll be coming up in the next couple of months and I really hope you enjoy watching this video and let's get right to the tutorial so first what I'm going to do is do primer I've already moisturized my face and washed it it's all nice and clean and the primer that I'm using is the Too Faced Hangover uh, Setting Spray, like primer and setting spray. I like to use this as a primer, but I don't spray it on my face. Um, I just put it on my hands and then just pat it onto my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow before I do my face. Normally I don't actually put primer on before my eyes, but I kind of forgot and I just went ahead and put primer on, whatever, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do my eyes going to put on some concealer to prime them. I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Okay, I'm setting my eyes. The NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It Loose Powder in the shade Light Medium. So the first shade I'm using on my eyes is from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm using the shade Strawberry Bon Bon. I'm taking this just in and above my crease. Next, I'm taking the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm using the shade Love Letter. The brush I'm using is just a fluffy crease brush from It Cosmetics. I'm building this shade up slowly. So I'm gonna start, I stamp it at the outer corner and then just bring it in. Anytime I get any new um, shadow on my brush, I'm always first stamping it into the outer corner. That's where you want it to be the darkest. And then I'm gradually blending it up towards the other part of my eye, towards the inner corner, but not at the inner corner. I'm gonna take it about three quarters of the way there. Uh, some more Shape Tape Concealer. I use the shade Light Sand, and I'm taking an angled brush a flat angled brush from Morphe. And I'm gonna start to cut my crease like normal and put the concealer on there like that. And then as you can see where your crease is, you know where it's shadowed right there. So that's where you actually wanna cut it. So I'm done about halfway and then I can I add a little bit more extra glue into the red, but just don't put concealer there. So now I take the excess concealer and bring it down all over my lid right there. And now I look all the way up to get my lid as much transfer as is gonna happen. So now you can see right there, see where that transferred. Sorry about the dogs in the background. See where that transferred from the my where I, I cut my actual crease to where it's actually gonna end up transferring afterwards. It's above it. So that's where I'm doing my actual crease. So now I just cut this normally uh, with concealer. So it looks like after I got concealer on both of them. Um, and then I took my finger and just kind of blended out the edges of the concealer. Definitely not on the top, but just on the side. So now we're gonna do glitter, and the glitter that I'm using is from NYX. I'm using the NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Red, and then I'm also going to be using the NYX Glitter Primer to keep the glitter on my lid. 
Okay, and then I'm going to use this brush on the glitter primer right where I put that concealer earlier. And just kind of blending it out past the concealer just a little bit, just on the outer edge. Then I'm going to take my glitter, I'm going to dump some into the lid, kind of like that much. I've got this kind of flat, small eyeshadow brush from Morphe. I like to use this one. It's dense and it works really well for packing on the glitter. Now what I'm going to do is get all of the glitter off from under my eyes, all the fallout. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then I'm going to do my face and then I'll come back and finish up my eyes. So I'm going to add a little bit more primer. So now I'm going in with foundation and I'm mixing two foundations together. I almost dropped one of them. I'm mixing the Tarte Matte Shape Tape Foundation with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. The Tarte one is slightly too dark for me. I got it online and I also ordered the Makeup Revolution one online and it's too light. So, uh, I mixed the two. I mixed them the other day whenever I first did this look to put on Instagram last week, I think. And I really liked, I wore it for a few more hours after that, and I really liked what the foundation ended up looking like. It lasted really well, it didn't look crease, and I really liked what it looked like. So I'm going to mix these two three applicators of the Tarte one. They both have the doe foot applicator, and I really like that. And I'm going to take one applicator of the Makeup Revolution one. It's, um, and then I'm going to start putting this on my face. And I'm blending it out with this super soft wonder blender from shop miss a so i'm gonna do concealer and i'm doing uh, i'm gonna do under my eyes and then highlight with concealer i'm using shape tape again in light sand so i'm going with powder i'm using the nyx mineral powder again So for blush, I'm using the Milani Powder Blush in the shade T-Rose. So now I'm going to do some bronzer. And the bronzer that I'm using, I'm using the e.l.f. Total Face Palette. And I'm using this bronzer shade right here. For eyebrows, I'm using the Hard Candy Brows Now Duo. This is in the shade Medium Dark. So for my face highlight, I'm using Champagne Pop from Becca. Um, it mine like got dropped a whole bunch of times and broke, so I put it in a little container. I'm gonna use the Hangover spray. I'm using the Ardell Wispy Lashes. So there's lashes, and so last we got lips, and for lips, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Never Petal Down. And then I'm going to put some gloss over the top, and the gloss is Hard Candy Plumping Serum in Cakewalk. And that's the last step in this look. Let me just take my hair down really quick. watch this video thanks so much for clicking on it and please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon to get notifications whenever i post a new upload and all my social media links are in the description box as are all the products that i used in this tutorial they're all cruelty free and the brushes are all vegan i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you next time bye